What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to start to add our profile pictures for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to start to add our profile pictures. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to add profile pictures. And you can see I've got a very nice profile picture of me and Aspen right here. And uh, we're going to start to set up how to upload these and add these to profiles in this video. Now, it's probably going to take us a couple of videos to do this. Uh, but we should get the bulk of it in this video, at least on the back end. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to all the other videos in this Twitter clone Musker Meep playlist. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't so far. So, okay, we've got to make some kind of weird changes to our app in order to do this. So we're going to head over to our social directory and our we need to make a change to our URLs.py file and our settings.py file. So I think well, let's start out with settings. So Let's open up our settings.py file. And up here at the top, I'm going to import OS, the uh, operating system module that comes with Python. This will just make this a little bit easier to deal with the uh, file and directory paths in this. So let's come down here and you see we have our static URL with static. We've already played with that before. We come up here, we see we've got this static directory. But just underneath here, let's build out a few things here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be uploading images. Now this may not be what we end up doing permanently, but for now we're going to upload those images to our Django project and we're going to put them in a special folder. Now you might be thinking, why don't we just upload it to the database? Well, in modern sort of database architecture, a lot of like online database hosting services don't allow you to upload images to databases. And you could thank the porn industry for this. They don't want people creating porn sites and uploading tons of porn video, uh, porn pictures and making, you know, things like that. So the industry standard has been over the years just to sort of disable images in databases. So a lot of the times you're just going to upload all these images to a CD and a content delivery network of some sort, you know, Cloudflare, AWS, whatever, and they'll sit there. So we may do that in the future. Just for now, I just want to create a mechanism that allows us to upload these images straight to our Django project, save them in a folder. So what folder do we want to save them in? Well, let's save them in a folder called media. So to do that, like I said, we need to make a few changes here. So let's create a media underscore URL. And we want this to be just media with a slash. And then let's create the root for that. Let's go media underscore root. And this is going to be os.path.join. And we want to join the base underscore directory of, of our app with media. All right. And this base dir is always defined by default up here when Django creates this project for us. So this will allow us to get the base URL of our app and all that good stuff. So I'll come back down here real quick, take one more look at this. So we're setting the directory as media and setting the path of that to the base directory plus media. So pretty simple there, go ahead and save this. Now we don't have a folder or a directory in our app called media. In the past, you know, we created this, let's see where to go, the static directory. We don't need to do that with this. This will get created the first time somebody tries to upload an image. Django will just create this directory for us. It'll be a top level directory up here, even with this Musker directory and this social directory right here. So there'll be a third one here listed as media. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's head over to our urls.py file. Now, note, we have two url.py files and most of the time we deal with the one in our Musker app. Not so with this. This is our original urls.py file from way back at the beginning of this when we first set up this project. And oh, oh, typo. This should be media, not medial. All right, go ahead and save this. Uh, Django creates a urls.py file for us. And this is it. If you remember, we did this include thing. And this is our admin URL. We need to tinker with this. So first, we need to import a few things up here. So let's go from django.conf. We want to import our settings.py file, our settings, right? And then we also want from django.conf.urls.static. We want to import static. So, okay, now we need to come down here and make a change here. Now, normally we do things inside of this Django or inside of this Python list, uh, but not now. Now we're going to do something right outside of here. We need to add a plus and then we need to add static. And then inside of here, we need to set the settings dot media underscore URL, which we just defined. And then we need to set the document root 
to our settings dot media underscore root. Right, so this media root and this media URL are just what we defined right here, right? And we're pulling that from our settings because we can here. No settings, and we're good to go. So there's that static is that static. And all right, so this will allow us to basically create URLs out of these images when people upload them to their profiles, right? So, okay, so far so good. Not too difficult. Save both of these files, and we can go ahead and close this social directory, go back to our Musker directory that we've been working on so far, and let's head over to our models.py. So when somebody uploads a profile picture, we're not gonna be saving the picture itself in the database, but we are gonna be saving the location of it into the database. So we need to account for that in our, let's see, our profile model, because we wanna save this to the user's profile. That makes sense, it's their profile image, their profile pic, we wanna save it in their profile. And up to now, we've just got this user, who they follow, the date that it was modified, and all that good stuff. But we need to add something here. So what should we call this? Let's call this profile image. And this is going to be a models dot image field. Makes sense, right? It's an image. Django has its own little field to deal with images, the image field. Now, not everybody's going to want to immediately upload a profile picture. They might want to never upload a profile picture. So we need to set that null equals to true. So if they don't have a profile picture, that's fine. We also need to say, you know, if this is blank, also it can be blank. You don't have to have a profile picture. Now, after that, we need to designate where we're going to be uploading these. So let's say upload underscore two and set that equal to a directory called images. Now this will be in our media directory. So it'll be media slash images slash whatever, right? So, all right, that looks good. So as you would expect, this is a major change to our model. So we're gonna have to make a migration and push that migration. But before we do that, if we just save this file and head over to our terminal, we're gonna see we're getting an error and we haven't even done anything yet. So what's going on? Well, in order to do image stuff with Django, you need a library called Pillow short for PIL, which is Python image library, hello. And so we, if you don't have that, we need that. So let's control C to break out of our server and let's pip install pillow. Make sure your virtual environment is turned on as always. And we could just pip install pillow, boom, boom. It should knock it right out. We're good to go. Now, when we run our server again, we get no errors, but let's control C to break out of our server anyway, because We've, like I said, made a change to the model. We need to make a migration and push that migration. So uh, let's go Python, manage.py, make migrations, plural, even though we've only, we're only making one migration, it's always plural. And then we need to push that migration. So Python, manage.py, and then migrate. All right, we're good to go. So now let's run our server again. Python, manage.py, run server. And when we come back here, let's, check in with our website here and let's log in. So I want to log in as admin. Nothing really seems to have changed. If we want to update our profile, nothing looks like it's changed there, but we can head over to our admin section. And when we click on users now, let's go to admin. You'll notice, hey, we've got this profile image thing and we can actually upload an image. Now, probably in the next video, we'll set all this up to where you can upload an image on the website. But for now, let's just test this out on the back end, see if this works. So I'm gonna click browse and head to my desktop and let's see, uh, there's the Aspen and me picture. There it is, if I click save. Okay, it looks like it's saved. Now let's head back over to our sublime text and lo oh, look at this. We've got this directory up here, this media directory. Like I said, Django creates it for us. So if we click on it, we see inside of there, there's an images directory. If we go to our models.py file uh, right here, that's because right here we said, hey, upload this to images. So it's uploaded it into this images directory, which it created for us. Why is it in the media directory? Well, because down here we set our settings.py file. We set this to uh, media right there. And then in our urls.py file, we said, hey, use that, right? So that's why that's there. And there it is. So hey, this was fairly successful. Now let's put this guy on the screen. So let's see. Let's come over to our Musker directory and our templates file. And let's click on our profile. And if we scroll down here, let's see. 
here's the follows. Let's go back to the site real quick and and just pull this up so we can look at it here. Here's our follows section. So let's put it right up here, right at the top. That'd be fun. So I think that's this section right here. So if we save this, come back over here, reload. Yep, sure enough here, that's right. So, okay, how do we use this thing? Well, first we need to test to see, hey, does the person have a profile? Because not everyone's gonna immediately have a profile. So we need to do a little bit of logic there. So instead of this, let's, uh, let's play around here with some logic. Let's go if profile dot profile underscore image, right? So if that exists, and then right away, always want to end my if, so I don't forget. And inside of here, let's say uh, yes, right? Just, just to see if this works. So if there is an image, it'll say yes there. Otherwise, it won't say anything. So we can come back over here and, hey, it says yes. That means admin has, a, has an image. If we go to the profile list and click on April, it doesn't appear there because April doesn't have an image. So it doesn't say yes there. So, okay, that's so far so good. So now let's actually add that image. So right off the bat, let's just output our profile dot profile underscore image. Now, any ideas what this is gonna be? So let's come back over here. If you said the image, you were wrong. This is just the address. This is just the URL of the image, but kind of, not really. If we were to grab this and just sort of slap it in here, we're gonna get page not found. This actually needs to be media slash whatever, and then it shows up. How come it's showing the address as images slash me? Well, again, the file itself isn't getting saved to the database, it's getting saved to the media directory, just the address is, but Django knows from our settings.py file where we designated a media directory that this is gonna be in a media directory. So to get that, we could do it a couple of different ways, but the convention is to go dot URL. And when we call profile dot profile underscore image dot URL, then we come back here and hit reload and then we get that whole media thing. So now we've got the actual URL. We can make this into an image very easily. We could just come back over here and wrap this in an IMG SRC tag, an image source tag, just basic HTML. And there we go. Throw a couple of line breaks beneath it, save it, come back over here, hit reload and boom, we've got that right like that. And very cool. Now we can change this again on the back end and we'll make this all work on the front end later. But for now, if we just wanna play around, I can browse and maybe I want this one instead. So I could save this, hey, hey, that saves. Come back to my profile, now it's that. Very cool and uh, pretty simple. Now, obviously there's all kinds of stuff involved in this that we're gonna have to deal with. What if two people upload an image of the same name? As unlikely as that might be, we need some sort of way to take care of that. And also, like I said, long-term, we may not use this as the solution here because you know, likely you're gonna wanna upload these to a CDN, a content delivery network, and not just the media file of your Django project. That could get unruly very quickly uh, and all kinds of problems could happen. But just for now, just to sort of understand this mechanism and to start to set the process in place to do all these other things in the future. Very cool and very easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos in the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.